Hi everyone, my name is Joe and I'm an IMAT tutor. In this video, I will be providing explained answers for a few questions in the biology section from the IMAT 2022. In the nervous system, which of the following pairs work in opposition to each other to control their target organs? The answer here is sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and that is because the sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the a fight or flight reaction for example when you get nervous and the parasympathetic nervous system uh, calms you down so they work in opposition and I think this is the second time they ask about it so it's a high yield topic. 34. Drug Q reduces the release of ADH into the bloodstream. Which organ releases ADH into the blood and what is the effect of a drug Q on the concentration of, your, of urea in the urine? So the answer here of course is row 4. The organ releases ADH into the blood is the pituitary. It's very important to know the basics of your endocrine system for the IMAT. And the effect of a drug Q on the concentration of urea in the urine uh, decreases. Yes, because uh, think of the urine as a solution because it is a solution. It has water as its solvent and urea uh, as its uh, solute. Of course, in addition to um, sodium, potassium, and uh, other and other solutes. So um, when you add more water in the in in the urine, you will increase the solvent. Hence, uh, you will dilute the solution. So the concentration of the solutes like the, like urea here in the question will decrease. 33. The diagram shows a glomerulus and part of a nephron in the kidney of a healthy human. Which of the following causes water to move from the glomerulus into the tubule? Now since water is a fluid, then you should know that the fluids move from an area in, uh, of a high concentration into an area of a low concentration. So 3 is incorrect, which is an increase in the pressure of the liquid in the tubule. It should be a decrease in the pressure of the liquid in the tubule, so the fluid water could move from the glomerulus into the tubule. And regarding when an increase in the pressure caused by the left ventricle of the heart, yes, it is correct. It causes water to move from the, from the glomerulus into the tubule uh, because the contraction, aka an increase in pressure in the left ventricle of the heart causes the blood and of course the content uh, in it like water to be delivered to the, to the rest of the body like the kidney. Uh, so uh, without this, uh, like like the water would not even arrive in the glomerulus from the first place. And about two, the effect of blood proteins on the direction of osmosis. Now, uh, actually, in the in the in the exam when I took the IMAT 22, I uh, did not know uh, two. I like I know nothing about it so I was left with two options one only and one and two only options so I just guessed it and chose one only and it was correct now if the point is in the exam it's just to to do your best now it's not important uh, to seek perfection actually uh, you cannot seek uh, perfection in the IMAT because no one it scores 90 out of 90 so uh, it's okay if you if you are like in the exam uh, you are left with uh, only two options uh, in a question and you want to guess go for it if you don't want to guess it's okay just leave it so the, the important thing here is to not panic it's okay just do your best and if you don't know like a piece of information like in my case i just guessed the question and moved on to the next question <clears throat> so 32 which of the following changes occur during contraction of the atria in healthy human heart uh, of course here the answer is row 5 uh, the volume in the atria when it contracts uh, the volume like uh, of the blood in the atria will decrease because it will empty 
uh, the blood from the atrium into the ventricle so the volume of the blood will decrease and even the volume in the uh, of the atria by the way will also decrease because the way it contracts uh, is like when you squeeze a balloon the volume of it will decrease and the pressure in the atria will increase due to the decreasing of the volume when you increase the pressure as, as you increase the pressure the volume will decrease and uh, vice versa uh, and uh, the last thing, the atrioventricular valves will be open. It must be open here in order in order for the blood to flow from the atrium into the ventricle because it because if it was closed, the blood cannot flow, and uh, that's not the case. Third one. In this question, you just want to spot the diagram that is most accurate. So I'm just going to explain why A is wrong and why the others are wrong. So now the like the most the most basic information to know here is that a phospholipid has a hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tails, and I'm sure that almost everyone knows this. And of course, uh, in in every membrane, the hydrophobic tails will point uh, inwards inside. Uh, and the uh, heads uh, will be uh, facing the, the, the watery environment in the interstitial fluid and in the cytoplasm uh, protecting the hydrophobic tails so uh, from this we can eliminate B and E because in here the heads are pointing inwards and the tails outside which is completely wrong so B E are wrong Now about C, uh, everybody knows that the cholesterol, uh, because of course in the question, uh, the question says that the black shape represents cholesterol and the gray shape represents protein. So this is a uh, cholesterol, and uh, everybody knows that uh, a cholesterol is not the length of two phospholipids; it's just the length of one phospholipid. So we eliminate C. And of course, you should uh, look at cell membrane uh, images so you can familiarize uh, yourself with this with the cell membrane. And it's very easy. I'm I'm sure that almost everybody knows this information. So now uh, we are left with A and D. Now A is more accurate than D because the glycoproteins. Uh, this stuff represents a uh, glycoproteins. Uh, these work as receptors. They they can accept uh, signals like hormones, and it's more it's more accurate to represent them pointing towards the cells or at the uh, like outside the cell in the interstitial fluid because because that's where the signals like hormones come from. So A is the correct answer. Twenty one. Which diagram shows the correct hydrogen bonds between bases of a section of DNA? Now, uh, in, in this question, uh, you just need to know that in, in DNA, uh, you find hydrogen bonds between uh, the nitrogen bases. Uh, and you need to know that between A and T bases, you always find two hydrogen bonds. And between C and G, you always find three hydrogen bonds. Now, um, it's a good idea to make sure that the other options are incorrect. So let's just go through them quickly. In B, you can see that uh, between C and G here, there are uh, two hydrogen bonds, which is incorrect. In C, uh, you can see that A and T are bound with a three, three hydrogen bonds, which is incorrect also. In D, you can see that A and T are bound with one hydrogen bond which is incorrect and in E you can find that C and G are bound with one hydrogen bond which is uh, wrong so A is the correct answer that was it for the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the other videos that I will release regarding the IMAT and if you want me to tutor you for the IMAT, just send me an email. This is my address and you can even find it uh, below in the description. And thank you for watching.